Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I don't think there's a product on earth that needs a rebrand more than vinegar, okay? We need to hire an advertising agency and kind of do a new marketing campaign. Here's what I'm thinking. Once you get past the smell, I'm kind of amazing. You call me stinky, I say pungent. I'm as aggressive on your nose as I am on dirt and grime. <laughs> oh, that's the winner. All right, everybody can go home. You all get raises. This stuff's gonna sell itself. I'm done here. Don't sleep on vinegar, okay? It can be used in so many ways around the house that I am determined to change your mind, to make you love vinegar as much as I do. Not only is this non-toxic, environmentally friendly, extremely affordable, it can be used in hundreds of ways around your house. Vinegar works so well because it's about 5% acetic acid, which is very effective at breaking down dirt, grime, bacteria. We do need to address the elephant in the room. Yes, vinegar does have a smell to it, but once it dries, that is completely dissipated. It does not smell once it dries down. So your home will not smell like vinegar. So first I want to share with you perhaps the most unexpected, shocking use for distilled white vinegar around your home. And that is to deodorize. And you may be thinking to yourself, how could something that smells bad be used to remove odors? Well, it actually works because the acetic acid in the vinegar binds to volatile compounds and odors in the air absorbs them in and removes them. If this is a very smelly room, smelly house, you need to deodorize, you can simmer your vinegar on the stovetop for about an hour, and that's gonna be the most effective. Next would be putting it in a bowl in the middle of the room for about 30 minutes to an hour. Or if you just wanna freshen things up, you can dilute your distilled white vinegar. Two cups of water, one teaspoon of distilled white vinegar, and about 20 drops of your favorite essential oil. Spritz that around the room and it will be a natural deodorizer and again once it dries the vinegar smell dissipates and it absorbs all of those bad odors in the room next is my personal favorite way to use vinegar in my home if there is nothing else you do from this video it needs to be this use distilled white vinegar to soften your towels you will be shocked you want to run a load of just your towels get them all in there and then get one cup of your vinegar you can put it directly in with the towels or in the fabric softener dispenser in your washer run them on a hot cycle with no other added detergent once that's done pop them in the dryer and feel your towels. Your towels will feel so soft, so fluffy again using vinegar. My other favorite application of vinegar for laundry is using them to help deodorize your smelly clothes, specifically like workout clothes, or let's say you run your clothes in the washer, forget about it, and then open up the next day and it smells like mildew. If your clothes are really smelly or there's a really strong mildew on there you want to soak them in a mixture of half water half distilled white vinegar first for at least an hour and then run them in the wash as normal if they're only kind of smelly like you're just doing a general load of your workout clothes or something add a half a cup to a cup of vinegar right there directly in the drum of the washer and wash as normal. And it's going to help kill the bacteria that causes the odor in the first place. This one is gonna sound weird, but you have to trust me on it. Vinegar will make your coffee taste better. Over time, your coffee machine, it accumulates hard water buildup and your coffee starts to taste a little funky, a little bitter. So we're gonna use vinegar to clean your coffee maker. So your coffee is gonna taste fresh again. So what I like to do, I fill up the water reservoir with my vinegar, run the cycle or if your machine specifically has a cleaning cycle do that and then very important after that after the vinegar has run through you want to run an additional two to three cycles with just plain water to make sure you fully flush out all the vinegar but seriously try this and you will be shocked by how much fresher your coffee tastes next you could use vinegar to kill weeds outside and it's a non-toxic solution because most weed killers are just so, so toxic with horrible chemicals in there. You can use vinegar, but in a specific way. It works best if you mix one gallon of vinegar with one cup salt and a quarter cup of Dawn dish detergent. So this works better because the salt will go in and dry out the weeds root system. And then the dish soap contains surfactants that will dissolve any protective coating on the leaf. You wanna spray the leaves 
of the weeds so that you can preserve the soil underneath. Another top favorite usage for vinegar in my household is to clean my fruits and vegetables. So I'll just get a big bowl of water. You just need a couple tablespoons of your vinegar in there. So it's a nice diluted solution and let your berries sit in there. Then rinse them off and fully pat them dry. What this does is not only does the vinegar work to kill any bacteria, clean off any residue, but it acidifies the surface and it helps preserve your fruits and vegetables and produce and makes it last longer when you then go store it. I use distilled white vinegar undiluted to clean my cutting boards, specifically my wood cutting boards. I will just spray some on there, let it sit and then rinse. A lot of people don't know this, but you can use vinegar to clean glass and windows and it won't streak on you. You wanna do one part vinegar to 10 parts water. So fill the whole thing up with water and then add just a little bit of your vinegar. Clean your glass, mirrors, window. You can use vinegar to clean your microwave. I don't care how crusty, how grimy, how nasty the interior of your microwave is, the vinegar will do the job. So I do one cup of vinegar, one cup of water into a larger bowl and put that in the microwave for five minutes and then leave it there. Don't open it right away leave it for another five minutes so it can fully penetrate combination of the vinegar and the steam in there will loosen up any grime in your microwave and then make it really easy to wipe away vinegar also works as a great natural and non-toxic bug repellent is i put it in a spray bottle and i spray around the perimeter of my house around the window ledges where the bugs are trying to get in specifically the spiders like absolutely not and the mixture here is just one part water to one part vinegar and then i add in about 20 to 25 drops of peppermint essential oil because spiders and other bugs also hate peppermint essential oil so i really want to give them the one-two punch can't neglect to mention using your vinegar as a all-purpose cleaner all around the house anywhere you do your regular cleaning dusting off i like to do a mixture of water vinegar and then a little bit of dawn dish soap that combination is magical i also use that to clean the floors just be careful because you don't want to use any type of vinegar solution to clean natural stone granite marble or any waxed wood next for hard water stains the easiest trick here what i'll do is i will saturate one of my swedish dishcloths in distilled white vinegar then you wrap it around any area that has those hard water stains so even your shower head or your faucet so wrap it around and let it sit for a couple hours then remove it, wipe it off, and they'll be sparkling clean again. Also, anytime we have a clogged drain in the house, like in the sink, in the tub, anywhere, the first thing I try and use is vinegar. Before I reach for the Drano, which is beyond toxic, for this to work best, you first wanna sprinkle on some baking soda and then get your vinegar piping hot, boiling hot, and pour that slowly into the drain, let that sit and try that first. And I would say like seven out of 10 times, the vinegar will do the trick. Like sometimes there's a bigger clog that needs to be addressed, but try vinegar. And speaking of drains, my go-to method for years of cleaning the garbage disposal. So first I will put in a good amount of baking soda. Then I pour vinegar and then I finish it with a huge thing of boiling hot water on top and just let it flush out and remove any odors in the drain. And also for cleaning your toilet, instead of using harsh chemicals, bleach, you can just use some distilled white vinegar, pour a cup or two in there and let it sit overnight. It will get rid of any toilet rings, stains in there. And then when I go to clean it in the morning, I will sprinkle some baking soda around the edges to use as an abrasive. And your toilet is fully clean without the need of harsh chemicals. And last one for today's video, but don't forget to clean your kids bath toy. So it's kind of like cleaning your berries. You dilute vinegar in some warm water, let it sit, have a little bath for about 10-15 minutes, and then rinse them off. So it's a natural disinfectant for those, keeps them nice and clean because you don't want to have dirty nasty toys in the bath where your kids are trying to get clean. So I really hope by this point in the video I have convinced you of the wonder of the glory that is distilled 
white vinegar. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite way to use vinegar around your house because I would love nothing more than to do part two of this video in the future. So with all that said, if you watch to this point in the video, leave me this emoji so I know that you really stuck with me here to the end. I appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.